All right, we are back, folks. The fun continues. Over the last, I would say about six weeks or so, Cup of Joe and Quartz Trinidad, we have been searching for the next Cooking with Quartz star. That's right. Uh, for those of you who have been following the show, um, we would have been cooking with Quartz over the last couple of seasons, and we would have been showcasing a lot of different things, a lot of different food, recipes using some of the wonderful products at courts and we decided to look for that next person who will be the courts cooking star and we found that person basically over the last few weeks customers of courts were asked to just showcase a, a video of themselves and uh, a recipe that they are familiar with and what they want their own segment here on the show over the next six weeks. So Christmas into Carnival, I'm about to introduce you to the next Cooking with Quartz star. Her name is Morella Lando. <laughs> congratulations, Hi, Thank congratulations. You. So Morella, Morella has been one of the persons that came forward showcased herself in front of the cameras at courts yes you got all the necessary likes on social yes. media and shares, the whole social media and shares and so on and so on and then you were put to the test a few weeks ago where yourself mm -hmm. and the top it was the top three top three top three and morella did what was such an interesting omelet the, the omelet was a fish pastel omelet <laughs> a fish pastel omelet so first of all, when she presented what she was about to do, I said, wow, a fish pastel omelet. I've never even heard of a pastel omelet. And then I said, fish <laughs> pastel omelet. It yes. was so full of flavor. Um, and, and you could have seen that you were really, you really love cooking. I, I saw yes. that coming through. Um, so what made you, what made you jump in to do this? I jumped into it because I thought it was, this would be something so much fun to yeah. do and I'd like share my love of food with everyone. Yeah. So it was such a fun experience. You, 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 you cook and create recipes at home or how, how do you cook at home or do you just do pilau, rice and peas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do the regular yeah. stuff, but also like when I cook it for my family, when they come over, I try to make it a little different, yeah. experiment a little bit, so, they, so they're a little more impressed. It's like, hmm, what is in this? What is this spec spectacular dish? I need to try this. So a fish pastel omelet. Fish pastel omelet. Um, says that you don't do regular food. No. You don't do regular food. You come up with crazy things. I try to. So over the next couple of weeks, Morella will be basically taking the floor i will step back i'll have a seat here and she will showcase some of her christmas recipes over the next couple of weeks and she'll be here into the carnival season and really just showcasing she has six weeks on the show just to really share her love of food with you and some of the recipes that you do at home yes the show is now cup of morale <laughs> <laughs> let's go you're making it looks like a red wine sangria what are we making today we're making a sorrel sangria Excuse right? me. Yes. You couldn't just make a red wine sangria. No. no. A sorrel. Sorrel sangria. Well, it's the Christmas season, Very so well. people will be, you know, indulging in the drinks, this, the sorrel, which is of customary drink. Right. So I said, why not try it a little differently? You like to put twist on things. I like to, you know, nice. shake things up a bit. Nice, nice. Right? Nice. So let's go. So what I need you to do is just... Cut some of these grapes so you're and me as well. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. your show, not mine, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and I need your help. I need your help. So these are grapes? That these are sealess grapes. Right. And what I'm doing here, I have an apple and we're going to be cutting up in slices to fill our sangria. Nice. So it, the sangria, I mean, is, is red wine. Red wine. You want to use a dry red wine. And for the sorrel, I used a sorrel port, oh. not sorrel wine. Not so no. Not sorrel, sorrel. No, 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 no. Why sorrel is port. Um, a colleague of mine had introduced me to the product. I was like, oh, this is interesting. This will be a good way to incorporate it into anything wine related because port is wine yeah. fortified with brandy. Right. So right, I was like, right. okay, this will give a nice, interesting combination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, right? nice. So this is a sorrel port. Sorrel port. 
and can then you use can you replace just with just ordinary sorrel would you think yeah, you, can, you can you can do it with just ordinary sorrel or you can just use sorrel wine which is also another popular homemade or you can actually get it um there i'm seeing actually more sorrel wine being sold in mm -hmm, all the different mm -hmm. stores yeah. in, the, in the supermarkets and whatnot yeah, yeah so those are readily available ingredients um and, and you know i mean sang a sangria generally is, is just such a, a drink that you could make in bulk yes over the holidays you leave just, it there yeah people could take when they want and you before you know it you're drinking oh. lots and lots of glasses and you're drunk <laughs> on christmas day that, well that's a serious thing well, once you're not driving. Once you're not driving. Yes, yes, sir. Drink your sorrow sangria. Drink your sorrow sangria. That Marla is making for us this morning. So, Madam Maya, um, grapes are almost finished. Your grapes are almost finished. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quick yeah. work, then, boy. So, apples and grapes are the, are, are the fruit. And, and this is lemons? Actually, no, this is orange. That's orange. That's orange. Okay. Because yeah. we're going to put sorrel juice and orange juice in the sangria. Right. So I'm just trying to keep everything right, all the cohesive. Yeah, some fruit juice. All, yes, also you, exactly, some fruit juice well. exactly. Right. So what I need you to do since you're of quick work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't stick at nah. all, boy. <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> just put a little, some of the grapes into the glasses. It, and it, then the, the rest. Directly into the glasses. Yes, some in the yeah. glasses. And then the rest into the pitcher. Right. And then we will mix up everything else right. so the base of the glasses yeah following a couple couple more of this morning in the, show. <laughs> the next cooking with court star she is taking over this segment for the next few weeks on the show get accustomed to Marilla because she'll be sharing some of her favorite recipes with you all right so I have in here yeah yep. you sure yep seedless grapes very important you don't yes. want to be drinking um your sangria on Christmas morning, and you have so seeds popping seeds. in. No, yeah. no, 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 no. So seedless grapes are very important. Yes. All right. So very this is where mm -hmm. you put in everything else. We have the rest of the the apples, and then we have the criminal liquid here. <laughs> the criminal liquid. What is the criminal? <laughs> that's the that's the that's the, that's the port. Yes. This is the um, red wine and the sorrel port. So you want two cups of each. Right? Merry Christmas, huh? So we're gonna have unsweetened orange juice because the sorrel pot is already sweet and then you're gonna get some sweetness as well from the sorrel because the sorrel is sweetened. Mm -hmm. So we're just also trying to be make everything balanced. You don't want it too sweet. You don't want it too sour and then what was that? What was that last thing you put there? This is the sorrel. So, so there's actual pure There's actual sorrel. Sorrel. Right. And then I'm gonna put some club soda just to give it a little fizz. Right. And then we just mix all these ingredients together. And then we taste. So we just put some ice. So we have these two. Oh just are they are they going in or are they we can put some in and then we can garnish right. with okay. the orange slices because Oops. some people don't like to put the citrus in the sangria really i don't know i, I think i hear sometimes it, it, it turns or something but you you put the citrus in the sangria yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so let's take a couple of slices just do a slit It just rests on the rim here. It's a little sl <laughs> sloppy, but that's okay. No, 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 not at all. All right. And, and, and it is true, the longer you leave the sangria to just sit. Yes. Everything kind of gets comes together, comes together and, and it gets intensified and yes. stronger and that kind of thing. Yes, right, definitely. Nice, nice, nice. So this is something you can make in advance. Yes, yeah, definitely. You can do this Christmas week, so that by Christmas Eve, you're ready. Christmas morning. Yeah. Mm. Oh, when family come over, yeah, they're ready to be served. So if you want to try Morella's uh, sorrel sangria, 
Her recipe is on trinicooks.com and you could be having Sorrel Sangri, another wonderful little idea. Um, she's put, she really seems to have a creative mind, so I can't wait to see what she comes up with over the next few weeks to share with you um, as the next Cooking with Court star is born. Morella Lando, where are you from, my dear? I am from Mount Lambert. Mount Lambert, yes. so from East Trinidad. East Trinidad. And you are going to be sharing some recipes with us yes. over the next couple of weeks. And thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, and Cheers. I want to thank Courts for making this possible. Uh, Courts has been with us and, and really, this has been one of the novel ideas that they brought to the table and we were just so, so happy to embrace it because we're really showcasing some of our viewers, some of our you, the fans out there. You get the opportunity to come with me here and have some fun in the kitchen. Marella is the very first of them. Thank you very much, Thank my dear. You. I'll see you next week. Yes, for sure. Cheers, let's try this. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, boy. The port, the port is a good idea. Very good the idea. The port is a good idea. Sorrel port, sorrel sangria. Marella Lando, the next Cooking with Quartz star. She is here for the next few weeks. Make sure you check her out every single week here on the show. Come on back. We eat green next. Hey.